Now, you have to know the male and the female reproductive system. Okay, you must know it. And we're going to start with the male reproductive system. I told you, it was guys that chose this today. So, and, and then, then they say to me, ah, oh, can you get testicular cancer um, if you wear very tight pants? So, you know, you sort of think, guys, you're supposed to know these things. But okay, we're going to do them now. So, let's have a look at our diagram. All right, we have the diagram below represents the structure of the male reproductive system. Okay, well, this is definitely not a female reproductive system. I mean, yo, I think anyone would know that this is the male reproductive system. Don't you think so, guys? And girls, here we go. So first thing we do when we get a diagram is we label. So our first label here for A, this thing, it looks like a little leaf here. Okay, this is the seminal vesicle. And when you are studying your diagrams, I want you to do this. Seminal vesicle, and I want you to put in brackets next to what the label is. I want you to write what it does. So it, it's an alkaline fluid plus fructose. And the fructose that is in the secretion from the seminal vesicle is going to help the little sperm with energy because it's got a long way to swim, okay? It's got to go all the way up the vagina, through the cervix, up the uterus, and then into those fallopian tubes. It's a long way to travel. It needs energy. And it gets that energy from the fructose that's in the seminal vesicles. All right. This little guy that here that looks like a little golf ball, okay? This is the prostate gland. Okay, now... The prostate gland secretes a milky fluid, which is also alkaline. Okay, and its job is to neutralize, uh, neutralize acid in vagina and motility. I'm just going to write motility here. Motility is the movement of the sperm. So instead of saying, and the sperm swim, you are biologists, okay? So the term for little spermy swimming, we talk about motility, their movement. All right, now, now see this, this structure here. All of this here, okay? Can you see that I've done here? This is the AP Epididymis. Now look at all the eyes. Epididymis. I mean, oh, sorry, an eye here too. Epididymis. And the epididymis's job is to store sperm while they mature. And then when the little sperm cells are ready and they're now mature enough, they're going to zoot all the way up here. And they're going to pick up fluid from the seminal vesicle and the carpus gland and uh, 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 the, the prostate gland. And then they go G -g 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 out here into the female. All right. So they are stored here in this epididymis until ejaculation takes place. And then D is the scrotum. Okay. Now, people, you must know this. The scrotum's job is to not only hold and protect the testes. Testes, two testes, one testis. Okay, so testis, testis, testes. This diagram here, E, is a testis, not a testes. You see, it's got an I, so a testis. Now, the, 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 the scrotum holds these testes, each testis, nicely, but that's not its main function. Its main function is to control the temperature of the testis. So when it's cold, it will contract into the body to keep the testes closer to the warmth, to body warmth. And when it's hot, it will relax and move away from the body so that there's a lot of air and, and it's cooler. All right, now, why? Why? Because our body temperature is around about 37 degrees. But in here, in there, we need it to be 35 degrees Celsius. And whose job is it? It is the scrotum's job. Okay, so it holds and protects 
the testes. Okay, it holds and protects it, but its most important function is to maintain or re regulate, let's rather say regulate the temp at 35 degrees Celsius because that is the perfect temperature for sperm uh, uh, development to produce sperm. Okay, now G, this tube that goes all the way past the cowpers, past the uh, uh, prostate here, past the uh, uh, seminal vesicle, that tube, this one here is the vas de mm, furens. And the vas deferens's job is to transport the sperm from the epididymis to the urethra. Okay. And when, they, when, when men have a vasectomy, it's to cut the vas deferens, which means the sperm don't come out and they can't be released into the female. And then F is the urethra, and the urethra is for sperm and urine. And our last one, the testes, produce the male hormone testosterone and the sperm cells. So they have two functions, two main functions. Produce the testosterone, and that's what makes men men. It gives you your second male characteristics, uh, um, your hair on your faces, Adam's apple, deeper voice, um, hair at all your it, it bits and pieces. Okay, right now, label part G and F. So G is the vas deferens, and F is the urethra. So vas deferens and urethra, okay? Now, uh, supply the letter and the name. People listen. In the exams, if they say to you supply the name, you only supply the name. If they say supply the letter, please don't give the name, only give the letter. Here they're saying the letter and the name. So give the letter first and then the name. Of the structure with the following functions. The part where sperm matures, we know it's the epididymis, but what number was it? It's C. So we're going to say C epididymis. Okay, and then next one. Supply the letter name, the structure that controls the temperature. Well, we know it's the scrotum and it's D. So we're going to say, uh, let me just get space here, D, scrotum. And then you get your marks. All right. So those are exam techniques. Then it says, describe the common function of parts A and B. So let's just quickly take a squiz at A and B. Okay, so it's the seminal vesicle and the prostate. So what is the common uh, um, function of both of them? That common function is that both secrete an alkaline fluid, okay, um, that stimulates sperm cell Motility. Or you can say it stimulates the swimming or the movement or the ability to move of the sperm cell. And people, just remember this. Sperm cells, if they come into contact with air, they're dead. Okay, they're dead. They die. They must have that semen and the, the, the fluid. So semen, just have a look here. Semen is your sperm cells plus the fluid. And the fluid comes from three structures. The seminal vesicles with fructose, your, your cowper's gland, and also the, the, the prostate gland. All of them have alkaline, they all neutralize all the acid everywhere, and they carry those little sperm cells and protect them.